today to show you how to do a uh, 1F fillet weld with uh, the TIG process, gas tungsten arc welding. 1F is slightly tilted the plate. When you get your plates tacked up, you want to tack it to the table and have it at an angle like this. So that your weld is flat. And there's very little manipulation to this, so you just want to run a stringer bead right down through there. Uh, we'll go out in the lab and I'll do one for you. Uh, what we're going to do here is show you how to do a 1F TIG fillet weld. First we're going to switch this from stick to TIG. This is a Miller Synchro Wave DX250. First thing you want to do is turn your gas on. But the next thing you're going to want to do is switch this from direct current electrode positive over to direct current electrode negative. This particular machine switches a lot of this stuff for you. So you can see it went, on to, it went right over to TIG, went to remote, remote, and high frequency start is what you want to be on. High frequency continuous is for doing aluminum, adjust your amperage, it's eighth inch, uh, low carbon steel A36, so we're gonna go down to like 110. Um, down here on your terminals, this is your stick lead. So you gotta twist it counterclockwise, it's got a little nub on it there that you have to line up. Take that out, put your TIG lead in. This is your uh, rheostat, your foot pedal, so that's there. This is your ground over here. This is what you can't forget to do. This is a 110 plug that goes to your water cooler. You plug it into here, here, kick on there, and when this thing spins down here, that's how you know you have your water on, and you should be ready to TIG weld. This is one that I just did without grinding the mill scale off, so you can kind of see the difference here when I do the one without the mill scale. And if you look closely on the edges, you can see silicone puddles, and it's just not quite wetted out as smoothly as it could be. These are the plates that I prepared. See, I ground off the mill scale in the middle and on the ends to make the T-joint. So you're going to take this, put it in the middle of this, and tack it, and then tack it to the table like that one I did with the uh, no grind on it. Two pieces. They're kind of hard to hold on to because they're so small. Get close. Use the corner. Straighten it out if you need to straighten it. Then flip it, do the same thing on the other side. Put the T joint. So you take this, and you get it tacked. You want to tack it to the table, you're going to start over here, start your puddle on the table, and work it into the corner. What you're going to want to do here is get the puddle started on each one of the plates and then start dipping and then work your way across the joint. There it goes. Go to the other one.
All right, here's the finished weld. Let's see how close I can get in here. And you can kind of see it's a lot cleaner. And this weld, you can see all the silicone. That's why you have to grind it. People still try to not grind it. And you can make it look decent. But the proper way to do it is to grind it.